Now, this is a punch hit that's in my personal collection that I've used for some time now, several months, probably even a year. And I've used it with several different fighters, big guys, small guys, guys who can hit, guys who are quick, you know, just a variety of different people, which you can get, really get a good feel for a product when you have so many different people that you train. So the thing that I like most about this punch shield is that it's very unique. Whenever, you know, it's kind of funny. You wouldn't think that a small little punch shield like this would get so much attention, but man, I get questions about this all the time. And partly it's probably because the colors I chose that this really, you know, are, are unique and stand out a bit. And and um and just the look of it. I mean it looks old school. It looks well crafted. You know, the leather is great. The color combinations pop when you're using it. You know, it's they're similar, but that gold just really pops out with the cognac kind of color or honey colorway. So it's that's one of the things that I like most about it. It's like it's not cookie cutter, it's not like everything you see everywhere else. You know, it's truly a unique product. And that's why I think I get so much attention. I got, you know, I get offers all the time. Hey man, will you sell that? Will you sell that? And I rejected so many offers. Um, but finally I, I I accepted it from a coach that I respect and um and I let it go. But uh, you know, it's it's one of my favorite pieces, man, because the look it's so unique and it's well crafted. Um, now this weighs about three pounds, eight ounces. It has a 10 inch diameter. So it's very small. I mean, it is a mini. It's about three and a half to four inches thick. Um, you know, it starts off kind of slim and then it kind of rounds out a bit, as you can see there. So I would say about three inches, three and a half inches max, the thickness. Now this does have a little bit of weight to it. I know three pounds, eight ounces doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're really working with this and you're taking shots, you know, you're going to feel the weight a bit, especially compared to some other punch shields. So it does have some weight on it. Some people may like that. Some people may not. But, you know, for me, I wish it was a little lighter. Now, the good thing about this punch shield is it's durable as hell. You can fucking run over it, light it on fire, probably let the dogs play with it. And you probably still pick it up and use it and to train your fighters. I mean, it's that f fucking durable. I mean, well crafted thick leather it's just meant to last that's the thing that i like most about it you know when you got it it feels solid if you don't have to baby it you don't have to you know i've probably cleaned this thing once and i've never you know i don't really baby my products too much i really like to use them and um you know i'm not a complete scumbag so i don't you know keep them super dirty but i also don't you know baby them either i put them to work so as you can see there, I mean, still relatively clean. So that's that's the good things about it is it's small, durable, unique, eye-catching, and it's relatively cost-effective. But, you know, this is a custom piece I sell for about 150 bucks. Really, really cheap, especially compared to all the cookie-cutter junk out there that's sometimes even more expensive. Now, the bad things about this is the weight and that the padding they use on there, although you can see it kind of has some give to it, it doesn't really absorb impact very well. So you're going to feel, if you got a guy who can hit, you're going to feel that shit, which, you know, kind of sucks because with the punch hit, you want to save your joints. And although you will, you just kind of, kind of got to get used to the stiffness of this. And that may not be a bad thing for some people. Some people may not even care. But for me, I think if they use a more, absorbent foam that they could that it would absorb the shots a lot better and as someone holding it for multiple rounds it would really pay dividends for them and make this product that's already a great product an extraordinary one so that's the only dig that i have on it is the absorbance of the padding and the weight but other than that man i mean it's a phenomenal product old school made in mexico quality eye-catching unique not cookie cutter and um, honestly, I mean, just a good bang for buck, in my opinion. Although there are some, you know, stitching coming loose here. I mean, I could just cut that, maybe just burn the tip and it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, some marks here and there. Maybe Customs did that on inspection. As you can kind of see, they 
poke that. They do that sometimes, and I'm just glad they didn't rip it open. But other than that, man, for shield, it's had use, and it's been used several times. I mean, I have no issues with it. I have no worries about it falling apart on me. I mean, this shit is built to last. So really good stuff here from Gil.